6 at 51. Good morning. Welcome back to the show. Well, we continue to see a lot in the news regarding gender diversity in the workplace wage gap, the advancement of women in certain careers, notably male dominated careers. And joining me right now to talk about all these issues and obstacles that women face on a, on a daily basis in the business world is the president and CEO of Women in Capital Markets, Jennifer Reynolds. Welcome to the show, Jennifer. Thank you. So first, let's, let's set the tone here a bit. Give me a, a bit of background on what exactly is uh, uh, Women Capital Markets? Women in Capital Markets is a not-for-profit. We're a member-based organization that uh, advocates for women in the financial sector uh, to increase numbers in the financial sector and also to increase the number of women in senior leadership. We also do a lot of work around just generally in corporate Canada getting more women into senior leadership boards at, or senior leadership positions and on boards as well. Your background is in investment and banking, mm -hmm. so you know what it is to work in a male-dominated industry. What yep. sort of obstacles, challenges did you face throughout your career? Well, I think things have changed. Uh, I think certainly in my career, uh, when I was younger and, and having my children, uh, that was sort of something that was difficult to deal with at that point. They didn't have a lot of women in the industry. There weren't a lot of women certainly having children. Mm -hmm. uh, so that certainly was an obstacle, convincing people that, hey, you know, I'm still all in. Like, I'm, you know, I'm a mother, but yes, I have a career, and I, I'm really... I want to be successful in my career. So convincing people that I was going to stay and that I was in it for the long haul was actually a bit of a challenge. You say that it's changed. So has the situation improved? Are we sort of uh, eliminating this stigma? I think we are. There's more women in the industry, certainly in our industry. And I, I think that you know women working and having children and taking maternity leaves is something that corporations are getting better at dealing with and understanding how to handle that. Having said that, there still is that, whether you call it a sticky floor or the glass ceiling, women are still getting stuck in middle management mm -hmm. and so we need to fix that if you look at the numbers in Canada there's only about 18 percent of senior leadership positions are held by women yet wow. women have been over 50 percent of university graduates for 25 years so we're educated we're when we're working you know oh, close to 50 percent of the workforce is women so we're working and that's the misperception is that we all went home to have babies I think sometimes and and that's why we're not making it to senior roles but that's not the issue at all so what can we do to sort of uh, you know break that glass ceiling get women in more of these uh, get women on these boards what 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 needs to be done well I think if you think about the board issue there's tons of supply that's a demand issue I, I think what happens is is people get tapped on the shoulder for boards and it's friends of people on boards and generally it's older white men who are on boards today and so that's their network so they need to really break out of that and say let me go further let me hire a recruiter let me make sure that I've interviewed women and and really looked and challenged myself to get women on board because there are many many talented women who, who can be on boards today the bigger challenge in my mind is getting women in senior leadership roles so there's a big gap in the corporate world today as I was mentioning earlier there's lots of women in middle management uh, but a huge gap between that and the executive suite so we need to make sure women are getting from the middle management to the executive suite so the way that you need to do that is really be a lot more um, intentional about your talent management too often it's sort of sink or swim it happens by relationship who you happen to know and who you, know, you, yeah. you move up the chain that way I, I think that CEOs need to really look at their talent pool at the mid-level and say how am I going to make sure that everybody at the mid-level is getting really good experience and similar types of experience too so that we build them into mm -hmm. leaders as well well thank you very much uh, Jennifer really interesting information you're here for an event with uh, women, with in, women capital? in capital markets we have a chapter here in Montreal and so right. we have an event here tonight well you're doing great work thank you so much Jennifer, thank you for coming in this morning on this very sloppy morning and speaking of the sloppy morning let's go to Debbie now and take a look at the roads